Okay, we'll start with the Partridge Sprite, wet, size 10. Barbless, I've got sheer black, 40 naught. We just attach tying thread there, get rid of that. I want to go back just to about there. And we need some black dyed pheasant tail. This is the pheasant tail black. Take a little bunch for the tail. Don't want this too long. I'll do as there. This is an excellent all round nymph. Just as most black flies are. Let's go. That'll do us very nicely there. Then I've got a short length of silver wire. I'll just tuck that in at the tail. There we go. So it's a relatively short body on it. We go to there and we'll just get those gathered. There we are. Fold these back. Go back into the tail base and we can go back up again. And just build a little taper, not much. And we'll just move that tying thread forward. And then we'll just hold our pheasant tail. Rewind that. Holding the tail in position with my thumb just while I catch the fibers in. And I can go back here. Secure that. Now I'll turn my vise. Remove those. Then we want to wind our wire rib in the opposite direction of the pheasant tail. Five or six turns. And if you want a little extra weight, but this is a very heavy hook, we can go here and just tie that off. Keep tension on your tying thread while you remove that with friction. Go back into the base of the abdomen. A bit of wire there sticking it and just go over that like that. Now, I've taken a larger bunch of the black pheasant tail, get the tips even. This wants to be about the same length as the tail, just move our tying thread forward and do this there, right in behind the eye, and keep it on top of the hook shank. Flatten out the pheasant tail fibres now as we go back towards the abdomen. This is going to be the wing case. Like so. And we'll just spin our tying thread anti-clockwise to give it a flat profile. Then I'm using some uh, green black peacock dub. And we just flatten our thread. Uh, there. Open that up. Take. We only need a very small amount of this peacock dub. And just place that in there. Like so. That's more than enough. We can spread it out a little. And we'll just spin that up. 
we take a little longer scissors and we just trim off the longest fibres from the dubbing, we don't want it too long that'll do me let's tighten that up again and then we can start at the rear with the thorax work our way forward perfect just turn my vise that way and we'll split these pheasant tail legs half and half approximately each side and we push these down back and down like so then we can come in and just make a few turns there to hold them in position for the legs lovely and then we take our wing case it's good to use a little comb here just to make the fibers parallel that'll do me so I want to pull the fibers from the thorax back and we'll just tack that in And we make a couple of turns right into the thorax first and we take our scissors carefully trim this off at an angle and we start at the hook eye so our thread doesn't slip and we work our way up over forming a nice neat head and we finish her give it one more remove the tying thread varnish the head and that's the finished pheasant tail black if you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.